So here we are. This is a very, very interesting interview because it's going to be the highest interview that I've ever made. And I think uh, it's going to be the same thing for my uh, guest here. Uh, we're going to be talking in a moment with David Bullock, which is the author of the book uh, Barack 2.0. Uh, social Media Lessons for Business, which is definitely a book that I recommend you to get uh, in Amazon.com or wherever uh, books are sold. I think it's just an incredible, an incredible book. And uh, let me just very, very quickly tell you how uh, actually uh, Dave and I uh, met without even knowing about each other. There was just something that we had in common. My uh, internet marketing career took off because I started also following what was happening uh, in the 2008 campaign uh, with, uh, with uh, Barack Obama and by just seeing that he was, um, uh, what he was doing, I, uh, about two or three months before, I actually said it with complete convic conviction that he was going to win the election. In fact, just take a look at this 10-second uh, uh, video so that you can see how actually I, was, I, I did it and this was in August uh, 2008, just before the election. How many of you have ever heard of Barack Obama a year ago? or a year and a half ago, one person out of the whole room. And right now, he's this close of becoming the next president of the United States, even though he's color skin. I mean, that's a hell of an accomplishment. Regardless if he gets elected or not, that's a hell of an accomplishment. Now you must be wondering, how did he do that? Would you believe me that basically, good part of his success is actually due to the internet? Let me show you. First of all, to date, Barack Obama has raised a whooping $605 million for his presidential campaign. Nobody ever has raised that amount of money. Much of Obama fundraising success is due in large in part to a fantastic website, a dominant internet presence, and the viral marketing efforts of his supporters via blogs, links, content, and of course, YouTube. Okay, so now that we are here uh, back on the show, allow me to introduce to you another person that also his life completely changed because of what uh, President Obama had done also uh, through social media. So uh, our guest today is David Bullock. He's a profit engineer and an incredibly uh, knowledgeable person in how to use the internet to take your business into the next level. So welcome to the show, uh, Dave. Thank you, Ernesto. Glad to be here. So what do you think we are right now in the highest uh, building in the world, in floor number 124? So at least for me, this is the highest interview I've ever done. How about for you? Yes, this is the highest interview I've ever done in my entire life. I don't think there's any way to do it any, any higher than this. So I think we'll have a, a lot to share with the folks today. Absolutely. So can you, first of all, very quickly tell them your story of what happened, I mean, just in a nutshell, I, I have heard the whole story, I've read the book and I loved it. I have actually uh, uh, earmarked it, bookmarked it, all sorts of things because I really got incredible value out of it and implemented it into my business. Mm -hmm. But I think the important thing is in a nutshell, what happened and how this changed your life. Well, it starts with the idea that we look to find out um, how much traffic people are getting to their website. There's a site called Compete.com. Compete.com in January of 07, I actually showed that Barack Obama was actually getting more traffic than his the nearest competitor. And when we saw that, we noticed there was something going on because here it was, you had Hillary Clinton, you had all the other uh, Republican candidates there, and he was just getting more traffic. So that cued us to say he's doing something different. At that point, the thing that was different at that time was Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn. He was using social media differently and actually more effectively than anyone else on the planet at that time at a very high level. We seized upon the moment, looked at that as an example of how you could actually use social media to take an idea from an idea to full transaction to whatever it is you're wanting to do. And of course, we all know the story. He went from a senator to then the President of the United States, actually going and actually just trampling the machine that was already in place called politics within the United States. So that's really the, the story of what he did. Now what we did is we actually got the information from what we saw him do in the, in the form of the case study, which is in the book, and we took what we learned and we actually used it to promote our own business. We went from a 17 post blog to about $500,000 with the PR and then continued to speaking events and now this brings us to Dubai. So the story continues as we go along. And, and then we went even further. We took what he did, what we did, and then we started applying the, that same methodology, we call it the B2Zero methodology, to businesses. Meaning, how to optimize your site, 
how to actually get traffic to your site, how to interact effectively with your customer base, and then how to follow up. Those are all the things that a politician has to do to actually forward the message in the marketplace. So that's, I think that's it in a nutshell. Fantastic. That's great. Um, my, uh, this, this program is about amazing websites. I mean, mm -hmm. I, every single weekend I have, every single week, not weekend, I have about uh, 2,500, 3,000 viewers watching this program. Mm -hmm. uh, and they come here to actually learn the tools uh, that most people do not really know about the Internet. So I am always talking about amazing websites. And I think one amazing, websites, uh, one amazing website is BarackObama.com. And uh, even though possibly it is not something that they can use as a tool or anything like that, what is amazing about um, uh, BarackObama.com is that I think it is the perfect website. Mm. So what I would like you to do, because I mean, you having an engineering background, what I would like you to do is just let's completely go behind the scenes, take it aside, and from your recollection in your memory, uh, try to give us uh, the right s the right structure of what needs to be where on a website so that actually it will be a great website. Great. Well, we'll take it, take it from the very top. If you go to BarackObama.com right now, what you will find is that the site has two buttons at the top. One is basically get engaged, enroll now, join now, or donate now. Two things. It's very simple. You come to the site, two red buttons. Here's what we want you to do. Here's what we want you to see, and let's move it forward. You see an opt-in in the upper left-hand corner. It's there. Why? Because, again, a website... Can I just interrupt you a second? Can you explain an opt-in? Because there's a lot of people that are very new to the Internet, so that's why it's very important that you tell them what okay. that is. An opt-in. A website has a primary purpose. When someone hits your website, your website has this purpose. First of all, get their attention. The second purpose is to grab their information because they may not ever come back again. Most people go to websites and they never come back. And then you don't remember how you bookmark or anything like that because people don't bookmark things. So having the opt-in, meaning you grab the name, phone number, some type of information. On the BarackObama.com site, what you see at the top there is email address and zip code. Why? He wants your email address and he wants to know where you are in the country. So that's an opt-in, grabbing the information. Typically, a website will have something on the back side of the information, the back side of giving the information, like a free report, a download, something that you want on the other side, which actually prompts you to give the information so you can get some. So that's what an opt-in is. Fantastic. Okay, now what, what other pieces are there which... Well, if you go down, if you look on the right side of the website and start looking down, you'll see that there's ways to connect with the president. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, phone numbers, basically all the ways you can actually communicate with someone or be in contact with someone are right there in full view. They're not hidden. Uh, have you ever been on a website where you're trying to figure out what to do next and you get lost? That's a confusing website. Exactly. If you look at the BarackObama.com website, you'll see this very straightforward. The navigation is easy and you don't get lost. So again, it may not be the perfect website, but it's a very good example and or a standard on navigability. Like how do you navigate, how do you click around and move around? Connectivity, meaning how do you contact the person? And interaction, meaning the person, how they interact with the website. So again, those three things, just off the top of my head, are things I would actually look for on this particular site. And the last thing that I'm thinking of is the colors. The colors are not, not glaringly um, obtrusive, meaning they don't make you look at the site and want to run away. Blues, whites, and reds, all muted colors, just there for you to draw your eye exactly where you want you to go. Fantastic. Uh, one of the things that uh, one of the things that David does, which I think it's very valuable, he has he will just tell you in a second about it, is he actually has an assessment tool uh, where he will be able to tell you how you can make your website absolutely amazing, and uh, he's also uh, going to be telling you a little bit about that because I think this is something that you definitely uh, should take him on because it's an incredible opportunity for you to get your website from where it is to where you want it to go. So if you can tell them a little bit about sure. uh, how that works. Sure. It's a web assessment. It's an over 100 point web assessment where we're looking at from the very top of your site down to the bottom of your site and looking at the code to find out what's there, what's not there, what's making your site work, and obviously what is getting in the way of your site working. And we do a little bit more than just look at your site and tell you what's working, what's not working. We record it for you. It's like a mini presentation for you, for your website, for your market. We look at the website structure, the colors, is it navigable? Does it have an offer? Does it grab the opt-in? What does it look like? How's it inter interacting within the marketplace? What's the, uh, the SEO value? What's the rankings? What's the backlinks? Alexa values. We look at everything that actually makes the website work or not work. And again, we record it for you and make it actually its own mini seminar 
for you so that you can actually get to work on getting your website working and moving towards the goals that you want your website to achieve. So that's one of the things that we do. There is a link right here on the page that if you want to look in to see what the details are for the website assessment, please just click on the link below and you'll be given more information and we'll be glad to do that for you. And we look forward to talking to you soon about your site.